Welcome to today's episode, where we delve into the latest on cybersecurity, including critical Apple security updates and breaches. CDK Global's massive ransomware attack affecting thousands of dealerships, pressing vulnerabilities and alerts from Microsoft, intriguing developments from Kaspersky, and the turbulent security incident involving Kraken and Certic. Stay tuned as we unpack these pivotal stories and their implications for our digital world. Here's the revised text with consistent language and related statements merged. Next up in Apple News, several critical security updates and breaches are dominating the headlines, exploiting iTerm2 features for code execution. Security researchers have discovered ways to exploit iTerm2 features, potentially leading to unauthorized code execution. iOS 18 introduces enhanced security. Apple has rolled out iOS 18, adding a groundbreaking feature that allows app locking with Face ID or Touch ID on iPads. Additionally, users can now lock and hide specific iPhone apps with these new security enhancements. Alleged theft of Apple's source code. In June, a threat actor known as Intel Broker claimed to have breached Apple's defenses and leaked the source code of three internal Apple tools. Intel Broker also alleges hacking into AMD, stealing source code and employee data. Buffer overflow vulnerability in XNU kernel. A critical buffer overflow vulnerability has been discovered in the XNU kernel, posing a significant security risk. 1Password's new feature. 1Password has introduced recovery codes to enhance user security, addressing potential account lockouts. Snowflake data breach escalation. The Snowflake data breach has expanded, with more victims and perpetrators stepping forward. Massive hospital hack. A hospital hack led to the leak of 300 million patient records. Additionally, updates include the arrest of the alleged leader of Scattered Spider and reports of Apple source code being found online. Apple Vision Pro Security Flaw Researchers found a vulnerability in Apple Vision Pro that allows a room to be filled with virtual spiders and bats, described as scary. Impact of Algorithms on Culture An in-depth article discusses how algorithms influence culture, the hacker class's role in shaping new world orders, and the power shift from states to corporations facilitated by data and influence. These incidents underscore the importance of robust cybersecurity measures and the ongoing battle against digital threats. Stay tuned as we continue to monitor and report on these developing stories. In recent news, CDK Global, a leading automotive software provider, has been significantly impacted by a cyber attack affecting over 15,000 car dealerships in the United States and Canada. This ransomware attack has disrupted sales operations, forcing dealerships to manually manage customer records and data. The attack has not only halted business activities, but also included a ransom demand from the perpetrators. CDK Global, already dealing with the aftermath of a previous breach, now faces the challenging task of restoring systems amid ongoing disruptions. In response, the company has temporarily shut down all systems and is conducting a thorough investigation into the attack. Additionally, CDK Global has warned customers about imposters posing as support agents seeking unauthorized access during this period of vulnerability. These incidents highlight the urgent need for heightened security measures in the industry as dealerships revert to manual processes to maintain operations. As CDK Global works to restore its systems, the market remains alert for further potential disruptions. In Microsoft news, several updates and warnings about cybersecurity vulnerabilities have emerged, necessitating your attention. Key insights have revealed intra ID compromises due to misconfigured cloud environments, emphasizing the importance of proper cloud security configuration and vigilance. Microsoft has issued an urgent alert about a critical cybersecurity vulnerability, prompting new ways to advise their customers to take immediate action to mitigate risks. For developers and security experts, a new guide on implementing kernel-level application whitelisting using C++ has been released, offering a potential solution for preventing unauthorized applications on Windows systems. A user reported their Microsoft account was hacked from multiple locations. They have since changed their password and closed the account, but require further advice on protecting their information going forward. An unpatched bug allows email spoofing to impersonate Microsoft employees, raising significant phishing attack risks. 
Another user identified a potential vulnerability in a Windows program via Event Viewer logs and is seeking advice on the next steps. A phishing campaign using Windows Search has been discovered, showing the creative tactics malicious actors use to install malware. Microsoft faces scrutiny for several cybersecurity breaches involving Chinese and Russian hackers, questioning their overall security measures. For deeper insights into Windows security, there is ongoing exploration of malicious Windows drivers, focusing on the I.O. system, IRPs, stack locations, and I.O. CTLs. In data protection, the security and encryption features of Microsoft's OneDrive Personal Vault have been explored, providing added protection for sensitive files. Microsoft and No Before have introduced a phishing alert button for Outlook, aiding users in reporting phishing attempts easily. A significant bug in Microsoft corporate email accounts allows for impersonation and phishing attacks with no current patch. State-sponsored hackers linked to Russia have targeted French diplomatic entities, raising international cybersecurity concerns. Microsoft Power BI reportedly exposes user data online, which the company considers a feature, drawing concern from privacy advocates. A severe Windows vulnerability allows attackers to take over networks requiring an urgent update to prevent exploitation. For enhanced system security, there is guidance on enabling secure boot in Windows 11, ensuring compatibility with official software. A user whose Microsoft account containing Minecraft details was hacked is seeking guidance on data recovery after support attempts failed. Additionally, individuals affected by the Black Lotus eu Fi boot kit successfully removed it with Microsoft's help but lost access to their Gmail accounts. In cloud security, Azure Key Vault updates can now be automated using AppViewX, simplifying the management of cryptographic keys and certificates. Stay vigilant and up to date to maintain your digital security. That's all for today's Microsoft News Roundup. Finally, another critical security flaw in Windows allows for network-based hacking with an urgent update recommended to safeguard against potential attacks. In recent Kaspersky news, several significant cybersecurity developments have emerged. Alarming reports from Kaspersky Research reveal that hackers can crack over half of passwords in under an hour, with nearly half of those compromised in less than a minute. This highlights the urgent need for strong password security measures. Geopolitically, the United States has banned sales of Kaspersky antivirus software due to concerns over potential ties to Russia. The Biden administration has mandated users in the U.S. to switch to alternative security software by September 29th. Kaspersky has denied being a security risk and stated this move will not impact its U.S. operations. Despite these challenges, Kaspersky has launched a new product, Cloud Workload Security, aimed at protecting cloud workloads against sophisticated attacks. This reaffirms Kaspersky's commitment to advancing cybersecurity. Additionally, fraudsters are targeting Telegram users globally to steal ton coins, adding to the increasing number of online security threats. Stay tuned for more updates as these stories evolve. Kraken News Update There has been a series of turbulent events between the cryptocurrency exchange Kraken and the blockchain security firm Certic. Hackers exploited a vulnerability in Kraken's platform, stealing $3 million worth of digital assets. This incident escalated into an extortion attempt, with Kraken alleging that Certic researchers were involved. Certic K admitted to discovering and exploiting the vulnerability, but claimed it was for security research purposes. Kraken accused Certic of leveraging the discovered bug, leading to a significant security breach and subsequent extortion attempts. Certic denied these allegations, stating their intent was solely to report the bug and ensure user security even claiming their team faced threats during this exchange. Certic eventually returned the stolen $3 million to Kraken, but concerns and questions remain about both parties' motives and the handling of critical security issues. Kraken assured users that their funds remained safe despite the incident, although the exchange faced significant reputational scrutiny. This episode highlights the complexity and high stakes in cryptocurrency security where the line between ethical hacking and exploitation can blur. As the dust settles, Kraken and Certic seem poised for potential legal battles, each defending its actions and intentions. The incident underscores the urgent need for clearer protocols and better communication between security researchers and cryptocurrency platforms.
Thanks for tuning in. And don't forget to join us next week for our next exciting episode on cybersecurity.